Welcome back, welcome back. It's a very happy time to be in the presence of the Lord. If this is your first time seeing those videos, I want you to know that we're just young people who love Jesus. And the reason for this video is to help to encourage you and I in God's word. The Bible says that we must encourage each other, right? So the reason for those videos is to help to build our faith and continue to be embedded in God's word. Hallelujah. We're going to be talking about God's presence god's presence and i just want to take a time to read from this book of psalms 27 this is david talking psalm 27 verse verse 4 and it says the one thing i ask the lord the thing i seek the most is to live in the house of the lord all the days of my life delighting in the lord's perfection and meditating in his temple another version says that one thing i desire one thing i seek the most is to dwell in the house of the lord to dwell in the presence of the lord so many times you know people think that the presence of the lord has to deal with a specific place you know back in the old testament when the people wanted to encounter the presence of the lord they had to go into the most holy of holies when he died and resurrected, he gave us free access into the presence of the Lord. He gave us free access. When he died, it says the curtains were turned into two. So we could have free access into the throne of grace, into God's presence. So this morning, I want us to talk, what does it mean to live in God's presence, to dwell in God's presence? Well, God's presence is not a physical place. God's presence is where the Holy Spirit abides in. When the Holy Spirit abides in you, the presence of the Lord stays with you. David said in the book of Psalm 51, he says, Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. It means when the Holy Spirit is taken away from you, you are taken away from God's presence. And what are the things that causes us to be taken away from God's presence? The most important thing that takes us away from God's presence is sin. When sin lives in you, the presence of the Lord cannot dwell in a place where sin exists. This is why as young people, we must be very conscious about our actions, our words, our deeds, and making sure that they are constantly pleasing unto the Lord. You know, I love David so much because David was aware of God's presence. He was so aware of God's presence that he always says that may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in God's sight. It means he wanted everything about him to be pleasing to God. Every single thing about him to be pleasing to God. People of God, I have a question for you today. Are you hosting God's presence? Are your words pleasing unto the Lord? Is the meditation of your heart, the things you think about, the things you watch, the things you are always thinking about, are they pleasing unto the Lord? Many of times we wait till we go to a Sunday service. We wait till Sunday comes and then we think that when we go into churches, when we attend a church service, we are entering into the presence of the Lord. People of God, let me remind you, the presence of the Lord lives in us, lives in a holy vessel. So when we come together as believers, this power, the power, the presence of the Lord dwells among us. But it's not the physical building. So the question is, when you move, wherever you go, can you host the presence of the Lord? This morning, I want us to examine our lives. What is it that you are doing or what is it that is living inside of you that is causing the presence of the Lord to not dwell in you? What is it that you think about that is not pleasing unto the Lord? What is that thing, that conviction that the Lord is trying to tell you to let go of each and every time, but yet still you keep holding on unto that? It's causing the presence of the Lord to not dwell in you. I also just want to read real quick from John 14 verse 15. It says, If you love me, 
you would obey my commandments. If you love me, you would obey my commandments. It also says in verse 23, Jesus replied, all who love me will do what I say. My father would love them and he would come and make their home with each of them. Can God come and make his home in your life? You know, this morning I want us to examine ourselves. The Bible says that we must examine ourselves to see whether we are still in the faith. Can the Lord come and make his home in your life? What is it inside of your life that is stopping him from making a home in you? This morning I have the good news for you. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This morning I want you to examine your life. And think about the things that you are doing, the things that you say, the things that you meditate upon that does not please the Lord. And ask the Lord to forgive you. I want to use this time to just pray for us. Use this time as we pray to confess your sins. The Bible says if you confess your sins, He's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So just use this time, this few time, a um, few minutes or seconds to just... Say, Lord, I am sorry for what I have done. Say, Lord, I'm sorry for all the things that I have done. The sin inside of me that is stopping you from dwelling in me. Lord, I am sorry. Say, Lord, I have lied. I have done things that are not pleasing before you. I have gone to places where you're not welcome. Lord, I pray that you would have mercy upon me. Make my life your dwelling place. Make my heart your dwelling place, O Lord. I allow you to come into my heart and make my life your dwelling place. Use me as your instrument. Let my light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen. Amen. Yeah, this is just a quick encouragement. This is just a quick reminder for us, all as Christians, as we work in our journey, even if you strain away from the faith, it's not too late. I hope this time you will use it to meditate and reflect upon yourself and ask yourself this question, can my life host the presence of the Lord? Am I dwelling in God's presence? Not the old memories, not the old experiences you used to have, but the current experience. Are you dwelling in God's presence? Remember what David said, he says, cast me not away from your presence. Anything we do outside of God's presence can be attacked. So today, use this time to reflect and allow the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in you. We thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you.